So I was quickly reminded while watching The Forever Purge why I'm not really into these movies. Before I get started, I'd like to kindly ask that you hit the like button and please subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. Pretty please, with sugar on top. So The Forever Purge is the fifth movie in the Purge franchise. Is it really five? Wow, it's crazy. It's really hard to believe that there's that many movies. Full disclosure, I'm not really a fan of the Purge franchise at all. I'm not even confident that I've seen them all because honestly, they all just kind of run together. I do remember being really disappointed by the very first Purge movie. I was kind of annoyed that they didn't take the concept all the way, but now that they have taken the concept all the way, I just don't care anymore. Anybody care about what I want? I do. Shut up. Get out. The Purge to me has always been a really good concept that they just haven't been able to execute properly. Jack, am I crazy for feeling this way? You're no crazier than the average asshole out walking around on the streets and that's it. I will give The Forever Purge credit for one thing. They do attempt, at least, to take this franchise in a new direction. So this movie takes place close to the Mexican border in Texas. And basically, once the annual purge is over, a pretty large group of people decide to continue the purge beyond that. Hence the title of the movie, The Forever Purge, and they have the goal of cleansing America. To me, this movie is trying very hard to say something and to be relevant. Like, I can buy the idea that too many purges will inspire people to act like this all the time, but that's not where it stops. They actually take it a step further. The purge has never really been subtle about its messages, and it's always kind of dealt with this class warfare idea. I think the issue for me about this movie is that this is the largest scale purge that we've ever seen on screen, and the movie frames everything as being mostly, if not purely, racially motivated. So it's not just about releasing pent-up rage through murder and mayhem anymore. And to me, it's not even done in a clever social commentary kind of way. It's done in a mean-spirited, hopeless kind of way. In this movie, we are witnessing the collapse of America, the collapse of society. And what the movie wants me to believe is that there is enough people in the world who are hateful that they can basically immobilize, organize, and completely take over a country. And I just can't buy that. This movie's trying to tell us that there's a lot of evil and mean people in the world. Now, if you want to say this is just exclusive to the world of The Purge, then maybe I can agree with that. But to me, this movie is very clearly trying to draw parallels between our world, and that's where it loses me. I don't like to get into these kind of things on the channel, but this movie clearly has an agenda, so I need to address that. I believe that agenda actually contributes to the problem that they're trying to comment on and doesn't really offer any good solutions. In 2021, and in modern cinema, movies tend to think that they're more clever than they actually are about these types of things. And the next thing you know, they're delivering a heavy-handed, one-sided message that doesn't really entertain me or inform me and just actually makes me cringe. Again, The Purge is not known for its subtlety, and I get that. But this was just so overt that it actually took me out of the movie. When you have to try this hard to try to beat your message home, it doesn't help the movie at all. That makes sense. This is a bleak movie with a bleak outcome, and normally I'm fine with that. But there's a difference between being bleak and being mean-spirited. But even the characters, and this is true for most movies like this, they're pretty much walking cliches or even stereotypes. I guess you could consider this a real-life horror movie, but I don't necessarily want real life in my horror. I'm about escapism. When I go to the movies, I don't want to see real-world problems being played out in really subpar storytelling. But damn right, that's the only way I work, Cap. This rise in socially conscious horror that's happening right now isn't appealing to me at all because it's just not entertaining. I suppose if you like the other Purge movies, then you might like this one as well. And again, I appreciate the attempt to try to do something new, even if it doesn't really pan out. But as I already stated, the message is heavy handed and unproductive. There's nothing in the way of memorable moments, either between characters or in big action or horror sequences. There's a handful of moments of genuine tension, so I'll give it that, I guess. But the movie is kind of staged as being a new beginning beginning for this franchise, and I just kind of look at it as being more of the same. This movie was largely forgettable to me, and it doesn't really make me ever want to watch it again, so for that reason, I'm going to give it the careless Sam Gerard. I don't care! So have you seen The Forever Purge? If you have, let me know what you thought about it in the comments down below. As always, please like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell for notifications, and I'll see you next time right here on Real Shift. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Y'all be cool. Shut up.